kept telling them my whole entire world is missing and I need you guys to help me find it. Francesca Alvarado, known as Cheka, in many ways started a brand new chapter at age 22, a devoted single mom to her young daughter in Philadelphia, planning to take criminal justice classes at a local community college. Finding her way after the death of her own mom at only age nine with the help of her two sisters. We just don't think these things. Like Tina, who took more of a motherly role, and Francis, the closest to her in age. Her spirit was so bright. She was so beautiful. Like in the pictures, when you see her smiling, that's who she really was. She really, you really couldn't make her mad. She's beautiful. Francesca had no idea of her own beauty. She was just so naive and humble. They talked just about every day, so it did not take long for Francesca's sisters to quickly realize in the days after St. Patrick's Day, March of 2012, something was very wrong. Francesca's sisters say that day she secured a babysitter for her then three-year-old and went to Atlantic City with an older man, an acquaintance. They didn't hear from her. Frances went to check on her at her home in Hunting Park. And her roommate answered, um, and that's when I asked her where was Francesca, and she said, she went to Atlantic City, she'll be back in two weeks. And I thought that was odd because Francesca would have told me that she was going away for two weeks, or she would have at least told Tina that she was going away. She always stayed in contact, like, you know, her daughter was away for the weekend. There was no way she would have left her daughter. And that's when I knew, you just get this feeling, something's not right. Francis said they filed a missing persons report and jumped into action. We started having peace rallies. We started hosting events. We started giving out flyers. We handed out thousands of flyers. We sent them to shelters, sent them to hospitals all across the U.S. We, we explored every single option. But it still wasn't real. Francesca was last seen by the Borgata. She did not have her phone on her, either lost or broken at the time, so she took her laptop. Her sisters say that was never found. They did everything they could for 18 months. And then in August 2013, roughly 26 miles away, they say a fisherman at Corson's Inlet in Ocean City found a foot fully intact inside an Adidas high top sneaker. And as soon as we saw that sneaker, I couldn't stand those sneakers. I hated those sneakers. I told her they were so ugly. So as soon as we saw it, we knew that was Francesca. I just couldn't accept that reality. So I said, you know, she knew I hated those sneakers. She threw it in the water because she wanted me to find her. She's fighting. She wants us to keep fighting. I was so in denial. Somehow her sisters found the strength to jump into action again, repeatedly searching human remains found, bones found on the internet. And that's how they found out Francesca's femur and tibia also washed ashore. And we had to go down the rundown, call the medical examiner, hey, we're from Philly, our sister's from Philly, you guys found a bone, can you please run it with my sister's DNA? And it, six weeks later, we got a confirmation. And it's just frustrating how we had to find my sister. There were no authorities that found her, there was no search crew, no one searched the water, they all fell on, she left willingly so she will return willingly. It's a pain that never goes away. It stays with you for the rest of your life. People say it gets better when it gets, no it doesn't. It never gets better, it doesn't get old. It's almost like you're reliving it again and again, especially when you don't get to, to find somebody to bury the hole, you know what I mean? Francesca's family never got a cause of death and didn't find any more of her. They chose to finally lay her recovered bones to rest on top of her mother in April 2016 at Green Mountain Cemetery. Francesca's daughter is now 13 years old, and 10 years later, there's no known person of interest, no arrests, no answers. If Francesca was never this complicated, so why is it so complicated to solve this, like, you know, this mystery? We called, we would go there, we would talk to different people, they couldn't tell us nothing, and even 10 years now, I don't expect them to tell us anything. But what I do always pray for is that the somebody who knows what happened would at least just tell us something. Her family says police questioned her roommate and the man she went to Atlantic City with. They're exhausted, but not defeated. Our soul still wants to search for her. We still Google bones, remains found, or washed ashore. We're still searching for her. And then I think that's a lot of people when it comes to missing people, you just never stop searching for the person.